see the look on their faces. The Tamra soldiers ran even before my mace got ahead of them. There's nothing that makes me prouder than watching Arkell soldiers hold their own in battle. Look, maybe our little friend has some battle tales of her own. What are you doing, 18? Fighting a little ghost. Well, make sure your twig's nice and sharp. Not if you must. If I were your size, I'd be a mighty warrior, too. And what would your choice of weapon be, Aideen? A tree branch. <laughs> <laughs> Our Aideen's quite a tough one, I'm sure. If we were the same size, I'd be tougher than you can imagine. You'd need an army to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm off for a hot meal and a hot bath. What do you say? We've no time for such luxuries. We must ready ourselves. Our lookouts report large groups of Temer soldiers just over the border. <laughs> I'll show them. Well, where has May gotten so many soldiers from? We had better find out. As you can see, Torn, my magical prism casts as many images as I wish. It could be me or an army of soldiers. My queen. Magic is amazing. This is a powerful weapon indeed. Yes, it is. Can you imagine the effect this will have on the battlefield? One battalion can appear like twelve or a hundred. The Kel soldiers will know which way to turn. And in their confusion, our warriors can surround them and force their surrender. Back from the land of the humans? Tell me, Redcap, how can I become one of them? How can I become a human? I don't know why you'd want to, but if you did, it would take someone with a tremendous grasp of magic. I don't know anyone like that. I do, little fairy. I'll hear none of your lies, Bogey. I tell the truth. Queen Maeve could make your wish come true. Queen Maeve? I'd not trust her if she were my only hope of becoming human. She is your only hope. And she has the magic to make it happen. Come with me, I'll take you to her, I will. <laughs> I will. Hey, wait for me! Silly fairy. That's all I ask of you, Queen Maeve. Make me human, if you will. I'll grant you this request, little Aideen. But first you must give me something in return... To see Lovberg. Well, what can I give you? <sighs> Nothing much, I fear. What about a lock of Princess Deirdre's hair? A lock of Deirdre's hair? What would you want with that? I have my reasons. But they don't concern you, little one. Perhaps you don't want to be human after all. Queen Maeve, wait! That's not true. I want to be human more than anything in the world. Then why hesitate now? When you're so close to your goal. All I ask is a lock of the princess's hair. What harm could come from that? None, I guess. So, what are you waiting for? Let me think about it. <laughs> You've all heard the rumors of the huge number of Tamra warriors just over the border. Well, they're not rumors. They're true. That is why we need you. Every able citizen should be trained to defend himself or herself from our enemies. It's common knowledge that any man is with two women on the battlefield. Is that so? Never before. Well, by that logic, would you say that you could defeat me with one hand tied behind your back? It's up to you, my neighbors and friends, to come together in this time of extreme urgency. I felt that, Angus. What? Always me. It's always me. This fairy, magical and small, wishes to be mortal, powerless. Yet tall, grant her wish. Make her a woman, fairy once. Now, a human. <laughs> Perhaps.
Perhaps young Rowan will fancy your beautiful locks. I didn't make this change for romance, Queen Maeve. That's not my concern. <laughs> this is marvelous. How can I thank you? You already have. This is wonderful. I'll show those mystic knights. That silly fairy. She has no idea what she's given up. Given us? Now we have all we need to defeat the mystic knights. Well played, O'Reilly. One more. Sweet Lou, is the sky full? Oh, I'm so sorry. I lost my balance. Do you think you're a fairy woman? Why not use the gates like all the other villagers? Well... Hmm. You look familiar. Have we met before? Not eye to eye, we haven't. I'm Rowan, a mystic knight. You belief in your hair, mystic knight. <laughs> There's a beautiful girl. <laughs> Excuse me, boys, but I'm trying to train these villagers for battle. If you'd care to help. Will you look at that? Well done. Thanks. That was fun. It wasn't very hard, though. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Fairly swift, to be sure. Mm. But, uh, I could do it in, um, 20. Ah. Yeah. Only 20? Uh-huh. Come on, Angus. You must be twice the warrior she is. <laughs> Why not run the course in 12? <laughs> Why not run the course in 12? Yeah. All right. Twelve counts, it is. Good luck to you, then. You'll need it. Ready? Go! One. Two. Get up there. Three. Four. Good man. Five. Here you go. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Come on. Twelve. Careful. Four. Five. Take it. Don't stop counting now. <laughs> This lock of hair, plucked from Deirdre's head, will bring her to me magically. Once reunited, she'll fall under its spell and will be imprisoned in my cell. <laughs> Our friend has decided to have a bath. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> Angus, as long as you're in there, find some soap. Overtake and destroy it. My queen, we found her outside the castle gates. Relax, look. She's as harmless as a bird. Put her in a cage. As you come on. Before you lock the door, remember to bind and gag her. We don't want her summoning her mystic armor. Now, do we? Tie it tight. Although that spell I put on her is powerful, unfortunately, it's not very long lasting. Don't try to summon your mystic armor now, princess. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 
what are you doing here? Looking for you. Are you sure we haven't met before? There's something about you that I... Yeah? Forget it. <sighs> What's the matter? I don't know. I've never felt this way before. I feel weak and dizzy. Well, have you eaten today? Eaten? Are you daft, girl? Running around all day without any food. No wonder you feel weak. There's more to this than I imagined. More to what? Being human. I mean... You're delirious. Get to the kitchen and get yourself some food. Tell them I sent you. I'd go with you, but I have to find Deirdre. Is she missing? Yes. Well, my fairy friend Aideen would be a great help to me now, but I can't find her either. I can help you. What do you want with a fairy? They're so small. Oh, no. Fairies are wonderful. Especially Aideen. With her wings, she could fly around the entire castle and find Deirdre in no time. I'm fast on my feet. You won't need a fairy anymore with me around. You don't understand. Aideen's my friend. She's brave and strong in spirit. She's clever, too. Besides, she's full of magic. She almost makes humans seem plain. Mm. I wonder where she is. What have I done? I'm useless to you like this. You're right about that. Get some rest and a meal in your stomach. There you are. The king summoned us. We're needed. What are we waiting for, then? Any news of my daughter? None, my king. I have your daughter, Connor. If you want her back, surrender all of Kells and be banished with your mystic knights for eternity. Maeve's captured Deirdre. How is this true? Now it makes sense. Look at Deirdre's staff. You see this dust on the handle? This could only have come from a spell placed with a personal object of Deirdre's. It is how Maeve lured her into her trap. But what object belonging to my daughter could Maeve's spies have given her? One of several things. Fingernail, an eyelash. Or a lock of hair. I'm responsible for Deirdre's capture. Selfish. I must rescue the princess myself. We'll set out for Tamara immediately. She'll be back at your side before nightfall. Excuse me, my king. You asked for a report from the front as soon as I arrived. Yes, what's the news? Tamara troops gather along the border. At first there were 20 soldiers. Then 50. Soon hundreds appeared. I've never seen such a massive congregation. They'll attack soon. Rowan, I entrust you with the safe return of my daughter. Angus and Ivor, all of Kells relies on you. Follow this noble scout back to the front. Your powers will be needed there. As you wish. Don't worry. I'll bring Deirdre back. We'll be fighting beside you in no time. Seems <coughs> quite enough. Except for that princess. <laughs> Royal. Queen to princess. 
I'll put down my scepter. And you drop your crossbow. You can handle me with a long sword, girl. Should have dropped your crossbow. Ah! Guards, grab her crossbow before she can reach it. Deirdre, here. Give that back. Now! First make me a fairy again. I thought you liked your new size. Being human is more work than I bargained for. <laughs> your Rowan won't be interested in a puny fairy, you know. Oh, Rowan thinks fairies are wonderful. Especially me. Now, do you want your prism or not? Don't ask me for any more favors. I'm me! Now give me my prison. Quickly! Here it is! Take it! <laughs> so sorry. Looks like you had too much of a good thing. <laughs> I'm lost again. Stop right there, Maeve. Deirdre. We'll meet again. Deirdre. Deirdre. Deirdre, you're free. What did you expect? No damsels in distress to rescue here. Disappointed? <laughs> anyway. Hello, Mystic Knights. Nadine, hey, I've been looking for you. Miss me much? More than you can imagine. I'm small, but I have a big imagination. Where have you been? In Tiernan Oak. Anything happened while I was gone? <laughs> Where do we start? Angus and I faced a thousand Temple warriors, more than the eye could see. And then we summoned our armor. And just as we were about to engage, like that, they vanished like magic. The village girl who rescued me seems to vanish too. I haven't seen her. Never even got her name. Mm, too bad. I wanted to thank her. Now, she was braver than any man I know. And handy with a long sword, too. Really? Oh, you should have seen her, Aidy. All by herself, she snuck into Maeve's castle and came to my aid. She was amazing. She sounds like something special. I would have gotten there sooner, but... I couldn't find my way. Well, the girl had no problem finding me. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll admit it. She was quite the warrior. Ha ha! Let's get into her. <laughs>